Let's go down it. Get on the main road and try it out on a bit faster road. <laughs> Take a bit easy down there because I can't bloody see where the sun's shining like that. On and off. <laughs> So I get to test it with the wind noise as well because I've closed some vents on my f helmet which I didn't realise were open and that's why the wind noise was usually a bit worse than I thought it should have been but I used to edit a bit and sort that out a bit and but now I hopefully won't need to or not so much Yeah, speedo still not working as well. I did clean the speedo sensor up just in case it just needed a good clean. Sometimes that's it, and the uh, front sprocket nut. Because <laughs> that's what it uses on this bike, the front sprocket nut, as that spins around it somehow calculates from that. I did, before doing that, take the tank off and everything, and the connectors connected. And as far as I remember, I connected all the connectors to the front end. My lights work, my dash all works apart from the speedo. <laughs> The speedo calibrates when you put the ignition on as well, which obviously has nothing to do with the um, speedo sensor. So I've ordered a second hand one and hope that that will be working. Luckily I found one just for £14. Well, uh, they want the 16 quid for it, but they had um, make offer on it, so I off them. I think 12 or something like that, no one that do a counter offer. So I ordered that and that'll be on its way, it should be here next week because there's no Friday, it's not going to get here tomorrow. Just need to check my pockets are closed. So hopefully that will work and that will sort the issue out. Because I'm pretty sure it's got to be the seat speed says it must have just been knocked or something while pulling the engine apart and lowering the engine and putting it back up again and all that sort of stuff twice so and I know some sensors are sensitive to being knocked you do have to be careful with them when you handle them and that. usually O2 sensors are quite sensitive so that's the only thing I can think of you know I don't see why in ever, any other way that would be gone I checked all the fuses even though no fuses are directly for that you've got a main fuse and a fuse for this that and the other but yeah, they're still all fine. Someone said to, you know, check the wires with multimeter and all that sort of thing, but if everything else is on the dash and everything is working, and it's just that, surely that is the sensor, not the dash itself. And what else could it be? Nothing, right? Oh, I thought that was a bit further along or a bit further back, that, <laughs> that drain, which is really deep. Well, we'll get on the main road and see what it's like with the audio as well as the accelerator a bit more loads of traffic so even all the little shitty cars are staying in the right lane as well trying to get home. I'm going to get back off down there anyway so it's not a big deal. I might have to pull in. Oh, he's not even looking. This little car get out of the bloody way. Pulling further up. I'll get in front of him. <laughs> Just 
test of them brakes as well because I've got a solid leave and now because I did purge the air out of that while I had the time to play a bait with them. A lot of people give these brakes a bad press, even the six pots for these. I've got the four pot version of the Tokiko is that on these originally, the six pots originally. I've got a set at home halfway through um, refurbishing kind of but when the engine went and everything that put a stop to that so I'll get back to that at some point but that good brakes still people just don't know how to maintain them and bleed them properly so they usually change them for four pots this dude don't know what the fuck he's doing <laughs> Make your mind up. Just make sure that mirror is a bit higher up. I was still so nervous getting the bike out because I'm just still so worried that something will go wrong. I'm sure it won't. I probably could get through that, but I don't know. we could go to the front. Fuck it. I don't usually like to do this. You're not really supposed to. Hello. <laughs> the RPMs are very slightly high. These are meant to. Idle around 14, 1500 RPM, I believe. That's going about 1600 at the minute. Yep. <laughs> oh, there's Dukaki. He wish he had one of those, there he does. Got the traffic from them lights down the bottom there. I kind of forgot about the roadworks down there. It's still pretty bad. Don't matter to me, I can cut off or get ahead of some of it. Uh, I'll just got to go to the post office mainly, but I thought I'd take the bike out quickly for a quick spin. While I'm at it. Not changing just yet, so I'll we'll put that in neutral. I think that's all right. Not yet, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Still fucking slow me the fuck down. What's the temperature right now? 99 from sitting there. At least that's getting it up to some temperature. Testing the engine a bit. Get some air through it. If it wasn't this sort of time where rush hour traffic's about and everything, I'd probably go for a bit of a longer ride, so... Forgot a video out of there, a quick little one. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And hopefully I'll get out on a proper ride soon. There's still just my second ride on the bike as well, so... 
since getting it going again so it's a little bit nerve-wracking at first but it feels good feels fine sounds pretty good on start up but while it's cold it does feel it sound pretty rattly but these bikes do if you ask anyone on the ZX9 r forums if you've got one and said why is it so rattly <laughs> that's standard that's normal nothing to worry about there go now this is great <laughs> this is great isn't it Stupid bus driver. Still might tighten that. Manual can change tensor up very slightly when I need to get the tank off for fitting the new speedo sensor, the new second hand speedo sensor just slightly because there's a very light rattle but I did only do it up to a certain tension thinking that'll be fine <laughs> and didn't want to do it too tight obviously so I might have done it slightly loose but obviously I didn't do it too bad because it's not really rattly I've nearly done 23,000 miles, 22,855 I think that's it so not bad for an old bike. 